um, I have here the customer experience journey map. And it's a very simple combination of two tools. And it has three procedures, three steps. Okay, so if you want to take a look at improving products or services or steps, you can consider the following. First, identify that problematic or uh, that particular process that has uh, raised plenty of concerns. The second one is very important also to understand from whose point of view are you uh, redefining or taking a look at the, the problem or the situation. There are normally two personas, but you can actually use more. The first are uh, the first is the persona one, which means the customer or the user of the product, the service, or the process. Now, there are four things here. Number one, what might be a good sketch for him? Anong hitsura niya? Uh, ano yung katangian niya? No? So, take a look at demographics and psychographic details. And then, the third one is what are his typical behaviors and actions whenever he submits himself uh, into the process. And then, the fourth one is uh, what are his needs and pain points? Okay, so you do that uh, for a particular customer or service that's uh, using your product or service or process that has raised a specific set of concerns around them. Uh, persona 2 is what you call your default, your default set of assumptions. And um, the Persona 2 is typically the original intention of the, the product or the steps, what were the, the original designs, what is it for, and then what is the intended uh, benefit, action, or feeling that people would um, normally experience after going through uh, the entire customer uh, product process. And then you try to, to now look at the customer experience map. And this one, the blue and the orange maps, um, the squares in the map, actually are stages. So in the template, you will see seven stages, uh, but that your process is not necessarily that long. So sometimes the process requires less than seven phases or stages. And then for each of the stages, you list down in chronological sequence what are the steps. So for mural, uh, you can actually use uh, digital post-its or you can write this down. And then second is, um, does this particular set of steps evoke, provoke, or elicit specific feelings? Name them and then classify them either to be generally, what are they, positive or negative, okay? Next, uh, take a look at pain points. And these are just essentially concerns that people will raise around that particular uh, stage or phase of the procedure. Okay. What do they complain about? What is the general feeling? Are they happy? Are they agitated? Are they frustrated? And then what is it that uh, tends to be the source of that particular pain? And then list down opportunities. So this is the innovation portion because from pain and necessity um, you're able to we're able to identify if we were to do this particular phase what's a good way of doing it again but the experience becomes improved and then the experience becomes positive positive. and so uh, at the end of uh, the entire product process or procedure you now collate all the opportunities and then all the pain points and see how you can improve the process that might be a good uh, source of innovation because it will tend to affect, first of all, your top lines and bottom lines. The second one is uh, we have to think of a way to change the experience uh, into something negative to positive. It is If it is already positive, we can actually enhance that. The third one is thinking of enablers. What are the process improvements? And then, what realignments do we make in terms of time, talent, treasure, tools, people, knowledge, skills, and attitudes so that we can create a different experience this time? Okay, so in the next exercise, what we're going to do actually uh, is to share with you the template and then at the same time be able to work through a particular product, service, or a procedure that actually causes concerns with uh, 
your respective customers. So we will get to that after this video. Thank you.